Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, over the Easter weekend, uh, we took a trip to a place called Cumber Park, which is about half an hour away from us in Sherwood Forest. Um, yeah, like it was a really, really nice day. Um, I had a whole plan in my mind, like what this video was gonna look like, what the images, you know, were gonna look like, what I was gonna get. Um, but you know, as always in England, the weather didn't really play play ball. Uh, didn't rain, which is good. Uh, hot. It was overcast and, you know, a little bit cold, really, but it was bank holiday, so what do you expect? I mean, the weather's always going to do one when uh, when bank holiday uh, arrives. Um, but yeah, it, I think in the end we got got some quite decent images. I was using the Fujifilm X-T3 and uh, the X-T3 as well a little bit, uh, and I used the, the 27mm f2.8 on the the XC3 and the 23mm f2 on the X-T3. Um, I've been using those lenses, you know, like exclusively for, you know, a few weeks now. And I, it's a really, really nice combination. Um, yeah, I, I just, you know, I, ha I have the 50mm f2 in my bag and I just, I always think, you know, I'm going to take this out and I'm going to, I'm going to use it. But I just cannot get away from these two lenses, to be mm -hmm. honest, it these two focal lengths just suit me i think but as always if you end up liking this video then maybe you could you know drop a like and maybe even consider subscribing as well um but with that said let's get into the video how much planning and forward thinking you do, you don't always get what you expected. That is the beauty, with a pinch of frustration, of this kind of photography, whether that be in the street or out in the wilderness, and today was a day just like any other. I had a vision of what I wanted for this video, a beautiful spring day with glaring sunshine and a warmth you would really be able to sense through the images. What we got was overcast and cold for the most part. These days don't phase me anymore like they used to. I mean, this is England, what could I expect really? Plus it was bank holiday, so it was nailed on that the nice weather would choose to stay away. But what the past couple of years have taught me is that I shouldn't get too hung up on the things I can't control, and street photography as a genre has the least amount of control you can get. But therein lies the excitement. It draws me in time and again. Maybe this time I'll get that perfect shot, is what I tell myself. That is the lure. That is why I love this game. This place has so much beauty that I'm sure whatever the weather you would be able to show that off. This is one thing that I've come to realise while doing street photography is that 
you don't always need the perfect conditions. And this mixture of scenarios has really trained me to look at things that in the past I would have just completely ignored. It teaches you to be grateful for what you have in front of you and to really try and make the most out of what you have been given on a particular day. The weather wasn't the only challenge I faced through the day, however, as keeping a four year old entertained whilst trying to do photography is arguably the one thing that holds the greatest difficulty of all. My wife is used to me by now, randomly stopping and disappearing without notice. I mean it comes with the territory of being with a photographer. She has unfortunately for her had very little choice. I'm very easily distracted by anything that is lit by beautiful light, whether that's the obvious beautiful building or a bin. It's all the same to me. I'm hoping my son will get it in time. As the day wore on, it became obvious to me that things very rarely go to plan. It's nice to have a plan, but when it gets down to it, being able to adapt is what's really important and just enjoying the moment and the company that you may have with you. This has become easier over the years because photography, to a certain extent, at least has become second nature. No longer am I fiddling with gear and trying to understand how to get a certain look. For the most part, it just comes to me. That's what makes challenging days easier in the long run because there is no accounting for experience and learning your gear. This is how these days it is easier and arguably more enjoyable for me because photography has a habit of taking you out of the moment you are trying to capture if you're not careful and that for me is the last thing that I want. I want to capture memories, yeah, but I also want to experience them.
hope this has been interesting for you and there are some points you can maybe take away to apply to your own photography journey. As always, if you enjoyed the video, a like would be very much appreciated and maybe consider subscribing. But until next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.